and unique American hero from the greatest generation is being mourned. Chuck Yeager, the fearless test pilot who broke the sound barrier, passed away at the age of 97. Yeager learned to fly during World War II and became one of America's best fighter pilots. Tom Costello has a look back at his life. The year was 1947. History is made by this aircraft. Dropped from a B-29 over the Mojave Desert, Charles Yeager lit the rocket that pushed his experimental X-1 aircraft soaring to 45,000 feet and past Mach 1. For the first time, except in dive, a man has flown an airplane faster than the speed of sound. The breakthrough captured in the movie The Right Stuff. Only 24 years old, America's new hero was as American as they come. Born in West Virginia, he was a mechanic in the Army Air Corps when he was selected for pilot training. Flying P-51 Mustangs in World War II, he was shot down over France and evaded capture. Then became an ace in a single day after downing five German fighters. Three years later, he was preparing to break the sound barrier. No one knew if a human could even survive such speeds. And the Air Force didn't know that Jaeger was in great pain, having just broken two ribs falling off a horse. He used a modified broom handle to close his own hatch. You don't look at it as being dangerous. It's something that you're sort of dedicated to and you're you just sort of concede the fact that that's your job and that's what you're going to do and and uh, you don't really think about the outcome and, and of course a lot of pilots got killed. Chuck Yeager was a pilot's pilot, testing more planes, training pilots and astronauts and flying missions over Vietnam. He was supremely self-confident, he was genial, but he had a razor-sharp mind on anything involving high-speed flight. In 1975, he retired as a brigadier general. But at the age of 74, Chuck Yeager was back in a fighter jet to mark the 50th anniversary and break the sound barrier once again. I just tell people I'm no hero. I'm just a kid that, you know, it's the right place at the right time. In 1983, Yeager talked to Today. And I'm just lucky to come through it in one piece, and that's the way you look at it. Today, Jaeger's Bell X-1 aircraft hangs at the Smithsonian for all to see. I think about Chuck um, as the essential American. Um, he was a daredevil. Uh, he knew what he had to do in the war. Then when we started to think about space and taking it to the next level, he was right there. Few names are as iconic as Chuck Yeager's, representing courage and service. One of America's very favorite sons. Yeager was absolutely remarkable. And today, Yeager's Bell X-1 aircraft is hanging at the Smithsonian Museum for all to see. The aircraft he named Glamorous Glennis after his first wife, Glennis, who died in 1990.